Welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Time for a first conversation this morning. Um, these are perhaps the toughest times to live in Nigeria. Apart from citizens, uh, well, after enduring a year of petrol scarcity, which has seen uh, citizens queuing for hours at petrol stations, uh, paying exorbitantly for the product, citizens' uh, inability to access cash. Uh, for day-to-day -day living is mounting pressure on many households. Now, with another deadline for the Naira expiration, the old Naira expiration approaching this weekend, many are still unable to access uh, money, to access money in the banks for the basic things of life and meet up with their business demands. Um, these combined with a 17-year high inflation or a 17-year inflation high of 21.34% uh, mean there is no escape from the hardship upon the citizens. Expected uh, this week is a nationwide protest from concerned citizens under the auspices of the Network of Civil Societies for Economic Sustainability, NCE, or NCSES. A convener of NCSES, uh, Mohamed Shwaibu, is stressing that Nigerians are suffocating as a result of a fuel and naira scarcity now the group is vowing that there will be a shutdown and the showdown uh, of uh, showdown and shutdown of abuja and other strategic cities until the problem is satisfactorily addressed um, the director general of the nigerian employers consultative forum neka adewala oyerinde uh, who said the policy has good potential noted that the implementation is poor and absolutely below par now, with the challenges faced by Nigerians, he said the government was making a mockery of the monetary system. Meanwhile, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Miller, has said the Green Chamber will have no option uh, but to reconvene before February 25 elections if the Central Bank of Nigeria fails to address the hardship Nigerians are facing due to the currency swap policy, adding that the House will continue to monitor uh, the CBN's implementation of the policy closely and of course don't forget nigerians uh, had been asked for one seven days one week uh, by the president to solve the entire problem of the now scarcity and fuel scarcity as well but we're asking this morning how can nigeria uh, get off the path uh, to the economic abyss how much can nigeria take how much more can Nigerians take of what's going on? Um, we have joining us this morning, our guest, he is Olua Shegun Elegbede, National Public Relations Officer of the Association of Money and Bank Agents of Nigeria, uh, Amban. He joins us via Zoom from Abelkuta. Uh, Mr. Elegbede, thank you very much for your time. Good morning. I'm happy to be here. All right, all right. Um, what is Amban's position? officially uh, on what exactly we're seeing playing out with our CBN's policies? Yeah, our position, uh, just like a few other engineers have agreed that the policy is a good one for our economy, um, just that implementation is where we are having issues. The policy is a good one if all things are well crossed, our all eyes well dotted. It will cascade and take the economy to a better uh, position. However, uh, we have also noted that a lot of uh, sitting down with stakeholders have not been done before this. Uh, a lot of gaps have been identified. I will feel if all of these have been taken care of before now, uh, we'll be here. Uh, why we applaud the CBN for taking the bull by the horn, and then, I mean, this has been like 12 years coming, since 2011, 2012, when the government, uh, through the CBN, decided to go cashless. Uh, but we have not really uh, done anything as drastic as this. Uh, two policies in the space of uh, uh, four weeks, one was to limit over the counter and ATM withdrawal uh, of cash. Or the other one is this uh, uh, cash we designed, and it includes the three major currency notes that we spend in Nigeria: 200 naira, 500 naira, 1,000 naira at a at a go. And so, one would expect that uh, going by and uh, appreciating the the enormity of this policy, a lot of things are should have been put in place so that 
It will, love, it will give all of us a soft landing. And the Nigerians that we are actually trying to, to take out of poverty will not even be feeling the heat the more like they're feeling it now. Okay, j just a quick one. Um, what exactly is Amban's, uh, uh, what role do you play? Are you, because you are association of, of um, uh, money and bank agents, are you part of those who are listed as super agents by the uh, CBN to help them in this cash swap? Amban is an industrial association. Uh, we serve the interests of mobile money and bank agents. Uh, we have core uh, tenets of advocacy, enlightenment, security, uh, funding, and of course, educating uh, our members in, in areas, and of course, deepening financial inclusion to the last mile. We are, we are spread across the country. Uh, we are in the 36 states uh, plus the FCT of the country. Uh, so we would have expected that a policy like this, uh, of course, we are not a super agent. Uh, we are not licensed. Of course, we work with licensed operators. And if you are talking about deeply financial uh, services, uh, we are the most important aspect in the ecosystem. The ecosystem. We are the ones who take these products and services to the last mile, to the to the hinterland, to the crazy, uh, to the uh, look and craziness of the country. So, so we understand the heartbeat of the people. We relate with them directly. Uh, so our contribution would have been so much valuable. Of course, we had the opportunity to meet the CBN and also push to them that uh, they should adopt agents in the new NERA notes uh, cash swap, uh, which they eventually adopted. And I think that started by January 30th and 31st. And, uh, but just 30,000 agents were, were, were adopted in this. In this uh, that is like 38 uh, per local government, per each local government in the, in the country. So we think it is grossly inadequate uh, looking at the number of Nigerians that uh, will be served at this, at this point in time. All right. Everybody, yeah. But, but um, I'd like you to speak to the concerns of, you know, monetary and economic experts. Uh, they're saying that the narrow scarcity has a lot of unintended consequence. And one of such is that there might just be an extinction of you know, the traditional banks, the, you know, money deposit banks. Do you think that that might be the case with the increased need for digital banking? You know, there's, there's no way this can lead to extinction of DMVs. No, the DMVs will still be here to play their roles. So also the mobile money and bank agents will still be here to play their roles. Uh, we have all of this happening now because, uh, most of the information you, 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 you hear out there are really uninformed. Positions people have taken, most of them are informed positions because I feel the CBN has not communicated enough with all the stakeholders. And, and, and I think that is the reason why a whole lot of people come with um, different congestions that this might be this, that the banks will not be losing their core values and responsibilities. They will still be here to play their roles. As a matter of fact, they are being asked to strengthen their infrastructure the more, digital, uh, the alternative channels that we have. They are being asked to, I mean, ensure that this, the infrastructures are able to accommodate the rush that we have now. Because even beyond now, with the limit of cash withdrawal on cash withdrawal, it, what it means is that people will use more of the digital platforms more. Uh, so all the issues around decline and, and dispute resolutions are things that they need to now begin to look around and solve. Again, this is also a wake-up call to all providers and banks to evolve more in products, introduction, and innovations. They need to, there has to be some other products that the banks will need to evolve 
themselves in beyond uh, serving as deposit money banks and then all of that. There are so many products, digital products, digital financial products that uh, the economy needs now at this point in time. That would let us. Uh, I mean, it will take away all of these all of these issues. Why people are having issues out there is because most of the inform most people playing in the informal market are not banks, or they have some one or two things against the banks, so they don't want their money. So even when they have bank accounts, you you elect to send money into the account for the goods or services that you are getting from them. What they tell you is that they don't want it. I want cash. It is because of the confidence that. It has been eroded over time in the way issues are resolved when the, uh, there are disputes in the way they are being served. So there are so many things that has to be done by the banks and all players in the industry to ensure that confidence of the populace are rekindled and they are able to approach the banks to, to pick an order and they subscribe to products that will give them ease of life. I like I like us to you know speak to still with this particular issue, uh, we're looking at the extinction of traditional bank or the banks, as it were, money deposit banks. But you would also want to agree with me that uh, a lot of banks have lost their hands to uh, you know better companies outside of Nigeria. If you look at the Jackpot syndrome, which is very prominent, and uh, IT supports, you no longer have that. So yes, as much as maybe this policy is to cater for the unbanked, but we probably might just be getting to a point where uh, people are drifting away from uh, the conventional banking system. So would you still say that this is just statement people are not informed? Because if this policy is geared towards addressing and catering for the unbanked, but unfortunately we seem to be gaining, uh, getting to a point where we have a lot of people losing and um, not having confidence in the banking system. For instance, I don't know if you've tried to uh, make any kind of transaction via your app or transfer. It's not even seamless. You have to do that like over and over and over again. So yes, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I agree with you. <clears throat> well, we have challenges here and there. Uh, but of course, it does not take anything away from the fact that one day, uh, sooner or later, we will approach this end where we need to go cashless. Of course, cash would not uh, be totally uh, eliminated from our uh, daily day-to-day uh, -day activities. But what will happen is that if the banks evolve with innovations in products and other financial services offerings, it will, it will ease a whole lot of things. Then talking about the brain drain, I think um, if this, is, uh, this policy is, is able to scale through, um, it will improve our economy. And of course, if the government is also able to tackle the issue of security, because when you look at people who are actually living the country in droves, there are not people who are not comfortable here in Nigeria. The only reason why they live is because they feel security is not uh, tight enough for them, and they feel there are plethora of opportunities out there. But with this, we, we, we are the banks and some other financial companies, uh, fintechs, are able to bring in more products, innovate, and ensure that these products are able to serve the interests of the people. Many of our guys will stay back because the, the economy is booming, the products are, are scaling, and the, uh, the, the people are able to assess their fund, they are able to do transactions seamlessly. There are issues with uh, some of the bank apps, not all of them, because this rush that is being experienced was not expected. But with time, all of these things will be addressed. Uh, we cannot say because some of these things are not working now that the policy is bad. No, what the banks just need to do is just, I mean, 
wake up and begin to ensure that the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed, and all areas, all loose ends are tightened to ensure that they work in, in line and they are in sync with the policy of the Central, uh, Central Bank of Nigeria. The, the Central Bank has said it's not going back on, on the deadline, you know, for the expiration of phasing out of the, the old Naira notes. Um, they've said they have enough, you know, uh, you know cash in, in the banking system. They have enough cash to support economic activities, enough of uh, 1,500, 200, 100, 50, 20, 10, and 5 Naira. <laughs> Only God knows. That, 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 that's the word. No, God <laughs> immediately gave a press media briefing in Lagos a couple of days back. And he, that's what he said. So um, seeing that they've said they're not going back, not extending the deadline, and they have enough cash you know, to support economic activities, uh, what, what's your view on that as a, a professional, an expert in, in the money and bank uh, uh, field? Is the deadline going to work? Will we have enough Nigerians able to meet up with this deadline? Especially if you look at uh, the, the amount of, or the, the level of compliance before the last deadline. For me, I think the deadline is what is hurting us at the moment. If the deadline has not been extended, uh, probably there will be some other elements uh, coming to play in the, in the scheme of things as it is today. Presently, because there is deadline, we have racketeers who deal in selling cash. If, if because they, they know that there's a situation on ground. If the deadline had expired on the 31st and the CBN has stuck to its gone, I believe by now we will we'll be seeing the effect of this policy. So I, I agree with the CBN that the deadline shouldn't be extended. After, the deadline is actually for people to bring in their old notes. And then, so, and if you have also monitored reports, you will have seen that most of these commercial banks have these new notes in their boards. What they have not done is to push them out as they should. And now that the CBN is monitoring the situation and ensuring that there is full compliance, uh, I don't think there should be any reason for The CBN is right by saying they put in this, the, 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 all other players in the industry, especially the DMBs, should do the needful. There should not be a reason for anybody to have these new notes and just keep it somewhere. Olu what for? Oluwashegun, uh, no. we're about to close this conversation down, but I'd like you to respond to this uh, or share your thoughts on it. How would you describe uh, this situation that Nigerians have found themselves in? We know that the, the ATMs are not living up to the expectations, the banks. But however, the POS operators seem to have cash available. Now there's extra charge on every transaction that you have. For instance, you probably might want to withdraw 5,000 Naira and uh, the charge on 5,000 Naira is that you have to pay 2,000 Naira. How do you describe this? It's unfortunate. It's, it's unfortunate uh, and that's what I was trying to, to uh, say the other time. Uh, because of the scarcity, wherever the scarcity, you see some other elements coming to play. In the, in the for POS operators that you have agents that you have mentioned, you if you do your investigation, you realize that many of them. I mean, normally they get cash apart from bank from merchants in the in the markets to as a source for their transactions. Most of these sellers, merchants, now sell the cash to them at a at a very huge amount. And they also want to hedge the cost and also add their own margin. This is uncalled for, of course, but the scarcity has caused this. It is not because they have access to the cash from the bank. Most of them source for this cash from the informal markets, for people who are selling the market, who are cash dominant in their sales, everyday sales. That is where they can get this cash. Normally, on a normal and uh, before this uh, issue came up, they will call agents to come and help them evacuate this cash. But because they now realize that there's scarcity, even when the agents go to meet them, they tell the agent that I'm going to be giving you this X amount at this cost. 
I think Nigerians should realize that uh, we are not doing ourselves any good by involving ourselves in buying and selling of the cash. Of course, the uh, security agencies are out there. Whoever is found in this uh, kind of habit or exercise will face the music. You, and you, you have you told to, our members... You seem to be absolving, to, uh, you seem to absolving the POS agents of, of this and blaming, you know, cash merchants. Are POS uh, agents members of your association? Yeah, we have POS agents are uh, members of the association. We have those that are not members of the association. Okay, so are you, are you, are you, are you encouraging your members to... To, 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 to sell at 1,000 naira, sell the naira. The, the position you know, of the five, yes is that it is illegal for anybody to buy cash for any transaction. It is illegal to put your price, because if you buy, definitely you want to add the cost. So the position of the organization, we are not in support of those that are buying cash and doing transaction at cost that are, I mean, above the roof. What we are saying here is that I'm just trying to paint a picture for you for what is happening out there. The reality, it is, it is not just for us to say the agents are doing this. It is for us to also realize what are the reasons behind this. All of these people involved in this, for us as an association, we have told everyone it is wrong for you to buy cash. There's nowhere in the country, in the world, where you see a currency of a country appreciates against itself. Okay, we, 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 ha we have to go. Home. Because of time, we have to go. Uh, Eli, but you are saying that uh, it's wrong for anyone to sell Naira and to charge exorbitant rates for, exactly. for exchange and for these services. Uh, where we used to pay 100 Naira for 5,000 Naira, 1,000, or like Messi said, 2,000 for 5,000. Uh, that, that, that's really exorbitant. And you, you saw the members are being arrested by the DSS. So I think the earlier they change the better. But thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank right. you. All right. All right. All right. That's the National PRO Association of Money and uh, Bank Agents of Nigeria. Messi, 2,000 naira for 5,000 naira. I mean, there's a lot of drama that's going on. So you want to take out 100,000 naira. You probably have to give out 10,000 naira. 2,000 naira for 5,000 yes. naira. Where did that happen? I'm not joking. I mean, well, you, 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 need to, you need to list, you need to um, go out there to... Must, must really be... Uh, <laughs> so people are taking advantage. I mean, this is a conversation that we're having. Oh and goodness. like we always say that we're just a reflection of, of who we are. I mean, the leadership that we have is a reflection of who we are. Of 1, 000, I mean, we're not even different is, is from... High. It is high. All right, so, so you know the information. You should go to um, uh, Awolowo Road, uh, Ikoi. EFCC has an and office there. And, and report this person. So, so my, my point is, in the first it. instance, that yeah. if we as a people care about ourselves without necessarily making reference to President Mohamed Buhari or the Lagos State Governor or any other governor or House of Lawmaker or lawmakers, we have no business buying the cash. It's illegal. You're going far. Now, it, you're no, going we, we don't have to go I said, far. I said go to no, Awolowo. we're saying uh, if, if you're telling me to go to Awolowo, I mean, what resources do I have to take to go to Awolowo? No, no, to report the person. That's what I'm saying. So I need money to go to Awolowo to go make the report. My <laughs> so point you, is... I'll drive we, you there. I'll drive you there. <laughs> if, if, I'll if tell you how to drive to take you. I mean, you. You, you have to buy it's petrol. It's you national have to service. It's a national service. So you have to go. We have to go on the break now. Yes, we have to go on the break. But the point is, if we as a people you know, understand the fact that we can't continue like this and expect yeah, a different result. Yeah, absolutely. You're engaging in illegal activity. You're by, who sent you to buy this money? We have to go on that break. Messi is visibly pained at this, and <laughs> rightly so. I'll try to calm her down with some tea. We'll be right back after this break.